Hello Lightbenders, Bruno here from Lightbend Images and Photography and I'm coming to you from my backyard in Perth in Western Australia. So today we're going to be creating uh, a portrait outdoors but it's a studio portrait as well and they're using a large format camera. So the large format camera that I have right now is my Shenhao TZ45 uh, 2C and it's a great little camera and right now it's relatively 10 to 7 in the afternoon. The sun is about already set and uh, it's getting darker but yet for the purpose of the video I'm gonna do two portraits very quickly outdoors you know for lighting I'm gonna be using my Ellen Chrome uh, maxi light bucket which is that one so how I'm gonna be firing these shots I'm gonna be firing using the SIM cable and uh, since I'm gonna be doing a self portrait I'm gonna use a self timer as well and the one that I'm using is a Henza. If you were to put me anywhere and they take all of my modifiers away, as long as you don't take my max light away, I'm good to go. My max light is my most precious uh, um, modifier in my arsenal of uh, you know, lighting equipment and so on. And uh, I will tell you that in another video later. But this flower pot right here, that's represented me. So I focus on this to hopefully get myself in frame and so on and I'm using a 180 millimeter and uh, I hope that I'm gonna be having enough of my head into the frame as well but uh, if not the purpose is that we can actually create these looks outdoors with flash and create a studio light so we're gonna be doing one with the actual background that you're seeing right now and the next one I'm gonna put a background a black one so we can see uh, how the two looks you know side by side and at the same time as well it's summer in Western Australia but I have to wear something you know to make to give the image more contrast and that's the reason why I went with the Akubra and the jacket all right so it's getting dark let's get this uh, show on the road so just before we get this show on the road I'm just gonna try to fire the light quickly and see how we go because I already set up and I already got focused and so on and uh, I'm gonna try to put it out of speed so right now it's reading five seconds there we go so my light fire at five fire that five seconds so I'm ready to go so I'm gonna cut this shutter again and just give it a quick fire here and I'm gonna set up maybe roughly 10 seconds for this time or some somewhere there about so for film I loaded a few folders here I'm gonna go with my former pen and uh, as such I meter my light at ISO 100 and this is for my pen 200 so I can add another stop of light to my uh, settings here I set up at f11 so now I set up at f16 so I am gonna load my first shot and I hope that I frame very well but uh, if not we all stopped all right so let's just uh, test this again to make sure that everything is firing as it should so that fire cock fire so now we should be ready to go okay so I'm gonna pull my dark slide out just leave it right here and now I'm gonna release my self timer and sit right here hopefully I got myself in the frame sweet all right so that's one done and I am going to change the background to a black background. Okay, but before I do that, I just need to fire manually and set up my timer once again. Leave it as is. And this is gonna be a tough one. Hopefully that uh, there is enough background to cover my back, I would hope. All right, so 
just make myself pretty for you guys. Come, oily son of a gun. All right, so I'm gonna release the shutter. There we go. <laughs> I didn't pull out my dark slide. <laughs> so let's go through this again. <laughs> uh, large format, that's what it does for you. Okay, so let's do this again. And I got to pull out my dark slide. Let's get this show on the road. There we go. All right. So this little exercise, can I make it creative? Of course I can, but it's gonna be a lot easier if I was to have a subject that I can actually uh, manipulate the lights around it. And right now I place that lights right on axis of the camera at this present time to make it easy. But if I had a subject, I could actually be more creative by moving the lights around or moving myself around to create the contrast that I need or the look that I'm going after. And this can be done as well with the speed light and uh, which I possibly will do next time as well. With those two images side by side, let me tell you why I love my 40 centimeter max light so much, okay? So we're gonna zoom the one on the left in and then we zoom the one on the right in. Already you can see by the size of the catch light that we have a major difference in the effect of the lights already. The one on the right, we got the catch light which is a lot bigger as opposed to the one on the left because I was shooting with the light about 16, 17 feet away with the image on the left and the one on the right I was shooting about 8 to 10 feet closer because as we know the closer the light it is you know the better you know the quality of the light so you can see here already by this peculiarity on the tip of my nose here you can see the light is a lot brighter and it's a lot more concentrated in the middle as opposed to here it's much more spread out which is a lot more which is much more pleasant and you can see already by the shadow here under my nose that we have a different characteristics of the, the shadows this one is a lot sharper than this one is a lot softer and then if i just pull my hat down my face down so you can see the hat you can see as well you know there's a major difference there and if you go that way you can see the light is spreading all of the highlights is actually spreading fading into you know the shadow areas as opposed to here which is a lot more much more sharper but can i create the same effect of the look or the look of the image on the left you know at the same distance i bet you i can but right now i just want to tell you why i love it so much because with this uh, type of tool you can actually apply to creating your beauty shots your fashion shots or you can even do sports shots with it or products um, uh, imagery but another thing as well that i love about this uh, max light is that if you shoot weddings and then you have uh, your wedding party or your wedding couple across a lake that you want to shoot but there's not enough light with max light you can put that light on the other side if you don't have an assistant or you don't want an assistant to be into the shot you can actually put that light so far away from them across the pond next to you or somewhere and still be able to throw that light up to your couple and still get that image that you actually envision for them and so on. So let me know which one of your light modifiers that you would not do without if you were to have anything and everything taken away from you, the one that you would like to die for. So thanks a lot for hanging around with me through this video. If you like it, by all means, comment. But don't forget to subscribe so we can hang out on the next one. All right, so until then, keep those lights flashing. Cheers.